What's going on, y'all? You're here with international journalist, the media prince, and today we're having conversations. We're recording all of this. Rob, how are you doing today, brother? Hey, what's up, man? How you feeling? Doing pretty good. Yeah, 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 nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you, man. What's going on, man? I'm just, you know, glad that you're allowing us to dive more into your artistry. Yeah, so, exactly. take us back. Yeah, so, right um, stuff. High Rod. Who is High Rod? Coming from Baltimore City, East Side. Um, you know, grew up, tough spot. Um, you know, had a, had a child young, so, you know, that means that life kind of changed a little bit more than where I felt like I needed to make some better decisions than what I once was at one point in time. So, you know, was on the street side, uh, but I was able to clean myself up. So, you know, because I was running hard, I'm not going to lie, uh, my past isn't clean at all, but I feel like I was able to get a second chance, do things a little bit different, and that new project is basically just uh, different things that have happened, you know, in my past, I was able to stand and put it all out. The project started with um, about, about 16 to 18 records, and I cut it all down to about like 11, because I felt like, and I just kind of moved the way it was, but I ain't gonna lie to you though, man, it wasn't no easy process, because as so many other artists probably, I'm not the only one that frustration and, and mm -hmm. not even, you know, sure who you are and stuff like that, but I was able to get it out, so I'm excited for everybody to hear it and you know whatever the feedback's going to be but I know it's from the heart so it's, it's true but I don't know what the next project going to be but right here just so you get to see who I've been and you know what's been the last four to five years of my life what I've kind of been through through that project and stuff so um, shout out to Toe Tracks my producer and all of the inspiration and lessons along the way that helped me to be able to create this project. Okay, okay, so, so a, a listener that's going to, how do you want to listen to walk away now that they you listen to this, this part of it? Well, you're going to get a piece of me, and I think that's why I kind of held it kind of close to me, you know, because there's some stuff on there that, you know, when you listen, you'll hear some of those, those struggles and stuff, you know, that I might have had, so I think it's a lot of honesty on there. I mean, pure honesty, not the, those stories aren't going to be where I always won. You know, those stories are going to show you exactly what might happen. I don't want to use the word loss, but lesson in a sense. So that isn't like the album where you're going to see I'm on top. You're going to hear, you know, me, okay, well, I went this way, and this is kind of what happened and stuff. So through uh, relationships, you know, street life, you know, and everything else in between and stuff. So that's why I named it The Complication of Beautiful Tragedy. Okay. So, um, yeah, so a lot of, a lot of, this this lyrical kind of album. But um, it's one of those albums where you know you got to take your time. You got to peel back. Exactly. You got to just peel it. Okay. It's not just going to come to you. you so it. yeah, it's, it's got layers. So <laughs> you know you might the first time, and then you're like, oh, then I'm gonna slap you right upside your head the second or third time when you hear it. So yeah, cool project. Definitely want everybody to check it out. And all the support. Hit me up on um, IG as well. Hot Rod. Get it E N T. Spell H A U T E. And um, yeah, man. Explain the inspiration behind your name. Yeah, my name. That's a funny story. So uh, some time ago, I actually, you know, back because I come from the project. So my name was spelled Hot Rod, but I wound up doing a, a, a record with uh, this other recording artist, and what her team was saying is, "Hey, we can't put this out because of how your name was spelled." So it was actually her, her team that said, "Okay, uh, you know, spell it this way." And I was like, I hated that shit, even to this day. I hated it. I don't this fucking shit, but it, it made sense. And now, you know, I didn't kind of embody it and stuff. So, but that's a true story. Shout out to Lindsay, because she was the one that came up with that idea. And so I'm always owe you one for that. Because now, if you look on Google now, I'm probably the only artist name underneath for that name. And even the word itself stands for upper class or something like that. So it was like one of those things that it just kind of just went. And it wasn't nothing on purpose, but it just kind of came, so, because, um, I couldn't use the other way, so. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, would you, you deem yourself a hip-hop number, right? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Okay, most definitely. so I'm going to play a game with you called Either Boy. I play this with everybody I interview. Uh-oh, uh -oh. So I give you two artists. Gotcha. The person you name, their catalog, everything they had, stays. The person you don't name never existed. Their music never existed. They practically dead for real. Gotcha. So, Tupac or Biggie? <laughs> when you, when you say things, <laughs> you'll put me in the trick bag. Um, for me, because of I'm going to go with Biggie. 
Amen. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I feel like he lived a little bit more of what he kind of went through. Pop was an artist. Pop was an artist. Pop is somebody who can absorb. To be honest with you, Pop didn't really have like a big street background. I'm not no disrespect to him, but he didn't have no big street background. He was an artist. So sometimes with an artist or even an actor, in a sense, they're able to embody what else is going on. If you look into his early career when he was with the, the was it the underground, with the, the digital underground, mm -hmm. his style was totally different. It wasn't until he went to the West Coast. He got around those guys, seen some different things, experienced some different things. And he, his canvas changed. Whereas Biggie and stuff, he came from Brooklyn. He was out there doing what he needed to do. He had a child at an early age and all that stuff. So no disrespect to him, but if I'm going, I'm going with somebody who actually lived it a little bit more versus I feel like Pac is a, a wonderful artist, but I think sometimes that we don't, you know, Biggie on the other side, I feel like he lived it a little bit more. So that's why I'm going to give him the edge. Because so in other words, Tupac yeah. is dead. So that's that's what I'm going with. Okay, Jay Z or Nas? Jay Z. That's easy. Okay, okay. Um, that's easy. J Cole or Eminem? J Cole. Okay. Kendrick or Drake? Kendrick. Okay. Andre 3000 or Common? Andre 3000. That's easy. You gotta give me something harder than that. All right. So let's do the females. Since you already, not like that. Uh, Nikki or Remy? Nikki. Okay. Left out or Missy Elliott? Missy is more uh more. She done a lot for the game, so I gotta go with Missy. All right, Trina or Lil' Kim? Lil' Kim, that's cool, man. I ain't going to put Lil' Kim in Trina. I ain't even fair to Trina. Come on, man. Stop that. Trina. All right, Eve or Foxy Brown? Uh, Eve. Eve, okay. I yeah. might come back. They might, they might come back and tear me up for that one, but I'm going to stand with Eve. Okay. I'm going to stand with Eve because Eve was able to uh, go a little further as far as with that commercial success and stuff and all that, so that's why I'm giving that. And she came from a tough spot as well, so that's why I'm going to give her the A. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Hot Rod. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Thank appreciate you, it, man. Thank you for allowing me to press. I appreciate it.